Hey everybody, welcome to the second episode of 3 Minutes Looking at a Photograph. This is Keith Dotson coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee. Today we're looking at Canyon de Chez, Navajo, photographed in 1904 by Edward Sheriff Curtis. And yes, his middle name really was Sheriff, and he was one of the first rock stars of photography, with a 30-year career of traveling the American West, making over 50,000 glass plate negatives of the vanishing Native American cultures that he found there. Even aside from photography, E.S. Curtis was an interesting guy with quite a life story, many highs and many lows. I encourage you to find out more about him. Canyon de Chez Navajo was published in Curtis' epic 20-volume series of books called The North American Indian, and this image shows Curtis' landscape work at its finest. The Native Americans nicknamed Curtis Shadowcatcher, and in this print it's easy to see why. Curtis' landscape photographs had a profound impact on movie directors like John Ford, who made many classic westerns with stars like John Wayne and Jimmy Stewart. But as a documentarian, Curtis' legacy is a little dicey. He was known to alter his scenes and pose his subjects in romanticized ways that were not always really authentic. It's been said that what Curtis wanted to photograph no longer existed, so he recreated it. Still, his photographic record of Native Americans is unrivaled. Here we see across an expansive flat basin, seven Navajo riders on horseback with a faithful dog slowly trekking through the floor of the sacred Canyon de Chez in Arizona. The riders are dwarfed by the magnificent cliffs of the canyon walls behind them. We can tell by their shadows that it's slightly before or perhaps slightly after midday. This particular print of Canyon de Chez Navajo is gold tone platinum print from the collection of the J. Paul Getty Museum in Los Angeles. The size is 9 3 quarters inches by 12 and 3 quarters inches. Looking closely at the surface of the paper, you can clearly see the texture because unlike silver gelatin prints, platinum prints require no gelatin emulsion coating. That gives the print a really luxurious matte surface and shadows which are less black and dense than the shadows found in silver gelatin prints. The choice of platinum indicates that Curtis viewed this work as artistically important and it's well known that he was fond of gold toning. At the bottom left, we see a blind emboss of Curtis copyright notice. At bottom right, Curtis signature. Canyon de Chez Navajo remains one of Curtis' most popular photographs. More than 111 years after its creation, it still attracts tourists who want to go and view the location exactly as photographed by Curtis. But the area has long since become overgrown with cottonwood trees and no longer looks the same. Northwestern University has placed a digitized version of the North American Indian in its entirety on its website. I'll place the link in the notes below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and share and subscribe for more episodes yet to come. Thank you.